in the book, you talk about eight significant forces, per se, that necessitate a, a shift across the landscape to learning organization models. Can you talk just briefly about those uh, significant forces? Sure. I think uh, a little bit of background. You know, 50 years ago, organizations did not have to learn or learn very fast because the environment was not changing very much and there was less competition and customers had fewer choices and so forth. So organizations could survive uh, being a, either, either a slow learning organization or almost a non-learning organization. But today's environment, the uh, forces for change are so great and complex and fast that only learning organizations can survive and succeed. And so there's a number of forces uh, that have caused the need for organizations to learn continuously. I think the first uh, obvious one is that uh, uh, globalization and global competition. Uh, you have to learn because you're no longer competing against either a no organization in your country or weak organizations. You now are competing with the, the best organizations from around the world who have you know, perhaps a, a greater resources and uh, opportunities and so forth. I think the, the second major change in the last 20 years has been the, the impact of technology. Uh, 20 years ago, the internet was just beginning. We did not have things such as smartphones or mobile learning. But the, the technology has dramatically changed uh, you know, the environment and what can be done and what cannot be done. And so uh, I remember when I did my doctoral research, I, I had to uh, have all my information key punched and rented a room for an hour to do my my computer research and now it's done in a few seconds on uh, a small little phone. So, t but technology affects uh, everything in terms of distance and uh, relationships and uh, information, etc. cetera. Uh, the third is, and those two factors affect the workplace. Uh, you know, people don't go to the office anymore to work or they may work for a number of different organizations at the same time. They may have several bosses or no bosses. Uh, they may be working more closely with a supervisor in, uh, in uh, Tokyo than their uh, person who's, work who's in the office right across the hall from them. So the work world has changed uh, uh, dramatically. Uh, 